Bluff, Wyoming. No, Pine, Pine Dale, Wyoming. All right, we're here. Keyword, Wyoming. Let's go check in. It's time to... Good morning, everybody. How we doing today? Cheers. Packing up for Jackson Hole, Wyoming. Uh, let's see. So, packing up some shoes. I'm going to take the Peg 36s uh, just for some easy miles. The Rebels uh, for a, a mid, more of a middle distance run in those. And then the Super Crosses in case I end up going off trail, you know, just for a nice bop along run in the Super Crosses. And then for race day, here we go, the Solomon S-Lab Sense 7 SG. I've been waiting so long to test these shoes, and this is going to be uh, basically my, my test for the Pikes Peak Ascent. These are the planned shoes for that race, but I want to see how they perform at the Rendezvous Mountain Hill Climb. So this is, uh, oh, they are so so lightweight. Ah, I can tell Solomon made big improvements to those guys. Okay, just packing up and then I am going to hold about three times today on my drive up to Jackson Hole. I'm going to stop and roll out, stretch, uh, do a little jog and just make sure the legs stay nice and loose. So I'm packing this stuff as well. The uh, roller, the foot log and the stick. And of course, uh, <laughs> the thing that I despise the most, the uh, rubber band. All right, let's go. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, can't go to Wyoming without my trusty blue Ikea bag. Oh yeah, pinching those pennies, free Ikea bag. Bye boys, Papa's leaving. I love you. You guys have fun in your sandbox. How's... All right, I'll see you tomorrow. Do you know where I'm going? Yeah, to Wyoming. To Wyoming, that's right, to a race. Yeah. Look at, look at your creation in here, wow. <laughs> All right, they're having fun. We'll let them keep playing. All right, I think I got, got my water. We're good to go. Fuel up time. Did I lose my hubcap on a rough mountain road? No, I did not. I lost it in downtown Denver. What are the chances? Those crazy roads I drive on to get up to the 14ers, it was fine. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? All right, now we're hitting the road. Rock and roll time. That's Wyoming for you folks. Cowboys and fireworks. Onward and up. Hi everyone, made it to Wyoming. We're about halfway to the final destination and I like Wyoming for the fact that it still feels like the wild, wild west out here. Just a lot of open territory. So, okay, tip of the day. Uh, the night before a race, I always buy uh, good coffee because I would prefer to, to drink good coffee that is a day old or 12 hours old over bad coffee that is the day of. Uh, because oftentimes in motel rooms like that coffee or down at the breakfast place uh, in, the, in the motel, a lot of times it's just not great coffee. And where I'm going, there's definitely not going to be any sort of coffee shops or a Starbucks. So anyway, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm going to pick up a coffee. I'm going to roll out here with my foam roller and then go get three miles in around Laramie and uh, just to shake the legs out halfway to the final destination. All right, let's rock and roll. The day is... The day is a ticking. Two strides in the books. All right, let's go get that coffee. 
Alright, there we go. Just got out of the grocery store, getting my daily salad in. I think I'm on like a 10 day streak here of a salad a day. I'm just trying to trying to eat healthy, you know what I mean? And then picked up my sandwich here, some hard boiled eggs for some protein, some kind granola bars. I'll eat some now and then also eat some tomorrow morning before the race. And this is a pretty typical pre-race eating for me. I, you know, nothing too complex. That is the key for me. And, uh, but if I was racing uh, further than a half marathon, two days before the race, I would definitely be eating a little more pasta, a little more carbohydrates uh, to store up those glycogen levels. Uh, but I remember in high school, like we would have big spaghetti dinners the night before a 5K, and it was more for the team bonding. We thought it was for, okay, this is gonna, this is gonna help us so much for a 5K race, but eh, in reality, it probably didn't help that much. It was more for, let's get together and enjoy a little pasta. So anyway, all right, cruising through Wyoming. All right, we're rolling about an hour to go in the drive, stopping for one more tank of gas, and yes, rolling out the legs. And then once I get back in the car, I'm gonna uh, basically massage. So ideally, another tip of the day is ideally you don't drive to your uh, destination for especially a big peak race. This race, I'm training through it. It's a good race, it's gonna be a good rust buster for me, but it's not a peak race. So ideally you don't wanna show up at the, uh, at the race the night before, like I'm doing tonight. Um, but that's just how life works. And so that's why I'm rolling and stretching and running throughout the drive today. And yes, I'm gonna massage my legs once I get back in the car after we get this tank of gas, cause you know, your legs just, they tighten up. Same with, same with like flights around the world. If you're flying to a big marathon somewhere in a, on another continent, you know, you wanna show up. I've heard you wanna show up at least four days and preferably like five to six days before a big marathon. All right, gotta find some gas here. Come on now. There we go. Oh man, shake those legs, shake those legs. I must say, my legs feel better at the end of the day compared to the beginning. Like, it's been a big week of training. So, anyway, all right, now let's go check in. Wow, king size bed. That'll do. All right, that's it, folks. Oh, man, I am uh, going to bed, basically. It's 7.45 p.m., made it safely. Uh, solid drive. It's a good, it's a good haul. Wyoming is a big state. Kind of forgot about that. And uh, so another tip is when you're checking into your motel, make sure you ask for a wake up call. All right. I'm going to set my alarm on my phone. I'm going to set an alarm in here on the clock over there. And then also a wake up call. I've been known, I've never missed the start of a race, but you don't even want to go there. So you got your phone call from the, the desk, you got your alarm clock, and then you got your cell phone. So all three should wake you up, I do believe. Um, and I believe, this is crazy, everyone. This is, it's August 2019, and this is the second race of 2019 for me. Remember the Cookie Chase 5K? So I remember the Avalanche Danger canceled my first race then the injury for the Cleveland Marathon and some other races I was gonna do. And so this is the second race of the entire year. Just this crazy, like, you just gotta roll with the punches in this world, right? So I'm excited to toe the line, use this as a rust buster. Uh, I didn't taper at all for this race, maybe a little bit today. My legs are actually feeling pretty, pretty good right now, considering I ran three miles in Laramie. So anyway, it's just insane how life happens and you just gotta roll with it and keep on pressing ahead. And, and one final tip before we wrap up, you probably already do this, but on race day, so tomorrow morning for me, uh, there's a lot going on. I gotta drive to the start, I gotta pick, pick up my bib number, which I usually like to do the night before, but it's just too far away from the motel. Um, and then I pin it on the singlet the night before as well, so you don't even have to think about that, but we'll do that in the morning. And basically before I fall asleep, 
I take three to five minutes just to visualize, this is my last tip, to visualize uh, good things in the race and maybe things that are going to be unexpected and may, you know, slightly negative, meaning who knows, maybe, um, maybe I find myself in eighth place at mile two and it's like, how are you going to prepare yourself mentally to respond to a situation in the race that you don't expect? Because it's not going to play out most likely exactly how you anticipate it. Or for the positive, maybe you find yourself, you know, in the lead or, you know, leading like the, your age division or whatever the case may be. So you want to prepare yourself for the positives. And I personally uh, prepare for the negatives as well by just reflecting for three to five minutes before I fall asleep on this big king bed and just visualize it and mentally go through the motion so I don't have to do that in the morning uh, when I'm trying to get to the starting line, find a bathroom, drink coffee, etc., etc. So I was just importing the footage from today and I realized I don't think I asked a question of the day and I always like to do that. So how was your race today on Saturday, August 3rd, or maybe you're racing tomorrow on Sunday? If you race this weekend, let us know how you did. What was the distance? What was the name of the race? That'd be amazing. So apologize about that. Kind of forgot. And yes, if you want to dive deeper into some racing vlogs of the past, on the right hand side, you see the Cookie Chase 5K vlog. And on the left hand side, you see the Pikes Peak Ascent from two years ago, which is my next big race. All right, with that said, Sig Beauty, work hard and love each other. Thanks for being here. See you tomorrow.